you place my hand in your hand And joyously I walk along with you, O Lord I place my hand in your hand And joyously I walk along with you, O Lord You call me friend, no longer slave Your loving self for me you gave And all mankind you came to save So I'll follow you I place my hand in your hand And joyously I walk along with you, O Lord I place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk along with you, my Lord. For all my sins, your cross you bore, your mercy can my health restore. My guilt before you is no more, so I'll have no fear. I place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk. Along with you, O Lord I place my hand in your hand And joyously I walk Along with you, O Lord You urge me, Lord, with you to dine To eat the bread and drink the wine And thus enjoy your life divine so I'll sit with you I place my hand in your hand And joyously I walk along with you, O Lord I place my hand in your hand And joyously I walk along with you, O Lord Discord with you, Lord has no part I must be one in mind and heart With all my neighbors close and far So I'll bring them to I place my hand in your hand And joyously I walk along with you, O Lord I place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk along with you, O Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this celebration of the Golden Jubilee of the wedding of Edwin and Zenita Miskita. This is a wonderful couple God has made for each other in this world. Fifty years back, they promised to each other that they will live in good, in bad, in sorrowful and in joyful times, remaining faithful to each other. This faithfulness towards each other has brought them for this great celebration. We pray for the good health of Edwin and Senator. We pray for their son, Ryan Miskita. We ask our dear Lord to bind this family with his love as he has made them so good, so spiritual, and so generous in this world. I wish to thank God for this couple and thank God for every good deed that He has worked in their lives. We also pray for their intentions that the Lord may attend and bring success to every effort that they make in life. Wishing Edwin and Zanita congratulations on this great event and blessings in abundance. 
In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind all our sins and our failures and ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of God the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us glorify the Lord together as the choir sings. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that the newness of the nativity in the flesh of your only begotten Son may set us free for ancient servitude holds us bound beneath the yoke of sin. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of St. John, chapter 2, verses 12 to 17. Observance of the will of God. I am writing to you, my own children, whose sins have already been forgiven through his name. I am writing to you, fathers, who have come to know the one who has existed since the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, who have already overcome the evil one. I have written to you, children, because you already know the Father. I have written to you, fathers, because you have come to know the one who has existed since the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong and God's word has made its home in you and you have overcome the evil one. You must not love this passing world or anything that is in the world. The love of the Father cannot be in any man who loves the world because nothing the world has to offer. 
the sensual body, the lustful eye, pride in possessions, could ever come from the Father, but only from the world and the world with all it craves for. It's coming to an end, but anyone who does the will of God remains forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Give the Lord, you families of peoples. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of His name. Response. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Bring an offering and enter His courts. Worship the Lord in His temple. O earth, tremble before Him. Response. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Proclaim to the nations, God is King. The world He made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Response. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia! Alleluia! At various times in the past and in various different ways, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. But in our own time, the last days, He has spoken to us through His Son. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 2, verses 36 to 40. There was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was well on in years, her days of girlhood over. She had been married for seven years before becoming a widow. She was now 84 years old and never left the temple, serving God night and day with fasting and prayer. She came by just at that moment and began to praise God. And she spoke of the child to all who looked forward to the deliverance of Jerusalem. When they had done everything the law of the Lord required, they went back to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. Meanwhile, the child grew to maturity, and he was filled with wisdom, and God's favor was with him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear Edwin and Zanita, and the family, friends and relatives, today you have reached a long way guided by our Lord and Savior. Today it is not easy to live in close bond with each other. Each one wants to do what they want and what they like. Life in marriage is not so easy to live, nor is it very difficult if we are very much appreciative of the sacrament of marriage. You have proved to the whole world that married life is not difficult. You have crossed all the mountains, hills, which might have all thorns, stones, rocks, and reached this stage. You may have had a lot of difficulties in life, 
but god has shown you the right way today the lord is very pleased to see you and your married life golden and let it go beyond to celebrate 75 years 100 years because it is not impossible god can make it we are show you of our prayers especially for your good health and for all the strength that you need efforts that you put in may bring success through the blessings of our lord Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that the sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Sanctify the offerings we have made, O Lord. We pray, and grant that from the banquet of this supper. We may draw the hidden wisdom of the eternal word through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through Him the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor, when our frailty is assumed by Your Word. Not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this. wondrous union we too are made eternal and so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we proclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts. We pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying. Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will. We will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold, he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer 
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my heart. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. My dear Edwin and Zanita, we thank you at this moment for making 50 years of your married life exemplary life by your love and charity towards the needy and the poor it shows how charitable you must be towards each other we pray for God's blessings upon you for your healing and blessings of good health we pray for Ryan your son that he too may receive blessings in abundance Congratulations to you and may God bless you always in your life. Let us pray. O God, who touches through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, along with Zanita and Edwin, wishing you too blessings in abundance in your life and may we all learn from them to live a life of love towards each other live jesus i'm rejoicing that Jesus, we.